Hey, today we want to talk about why too many bass players suck at 20% of music. Sound interesting? We'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBass Guitar, and I'm back with another video with top eBass Guitar coach, Sean Unwin. How are you doing, Sean? I'm great, how are you doing? Really good. Now, today's video is why so many bass players suck at 20% of music. What's this all about, Sean? This is all about odd time signatures. So many people nail 4-4 four, four time, but the minute you give them something that's not in four, they crumble. Now, the reality is, most music is in 4-4, isn't it? Yeah, you, you could estimate, but you know, a lot of it, the majority will be in 4. But there is this 20% that crops up, isn't there? Which mm. can be a real curveball, can't it? It can, it really can. So today, we're going to look at three songs to help you nail down unusual time signatures. So guys, just before we get going, I want you to know there's a free PDF that comes with this lesson, so you can see everything we're discussing today written out in standard notation and tab. You can grab your free copy in the description below this video. So grab that now. So Sean, let's assume everybody watching this video is pretty comfortable playing in 4-4 four, four time. Mm -hmm. What is the next time signature they should watch out for? So the next one to look out for would be 3-4 or 6-8. They're very similar but they, they feel quite different to four. So the first piece we're gonna look at is gonna be in three, four, though some people feel this in six, eight as well. So what is it? It's If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys. Why have you chosen this particular track? So the fantastic thing about this piece is that the notes that you'll be playing are quite long, which means you can play the notes whilst counting and really getting a good feel for that three time. So I will show you guys what this sounds like Everything I play, you can find in the PDF. Check it out. Um, and I will be counting throughout to make that pulse really nice and clear for you. So beautiful playing there, Sean. It was really good to see you counting and feeling that three, four pulse and groove within there. Another little thing that I picked up watching you do that is listening to the drums is super important because it will give you those subdivisions. Now, mastering three is really important before we move on to our next time signature. What is the next time signature we're gonna look at? The next time signature is seven, four. So why is three important when you're mastering seven, four? The thing is with time signatures like seven or five or even any other odd time signature is they're usually done in groupings. So you will quite often get groupings of four and you'll also get groupings of three. So if you can't nail three permanently, you can't really nail any other odd time signature. So what bass line are you gonna start us off with in seven? So the bass line that we're gonna do in seven is Money by Pink Floyd. Now what groupings does this have inside it? 
So the groupings start off with a three and then a four. So can you show us how that baseline goes and crucially how those groupings work? Sure. So the baseline sounds like this. Now, what are the groupings within there? So the groupings are three plus four. Show us so that. the group of three is this. There's your three. Okay. And then your four is, is just a walk of crotchets. There's your four. So you can almost count it as one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, rather than mm -hmm. having to count all the way up to seven. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Makes it much easier, doesn't it? Much easier. So I'm going to play that bass line with the backing. And what I want you to do is I want you to count it in seven, and then I want you to try counting it in three and then four and see which one you find easier. So guys, if you're finding this lesson useful, please do me a very quick, quick favor. Can you hit that red subscribe button, which is somewhere around this video? What this means is we can keep growing the reach of the eBass Guitar YouTube channel, and crucially for you, keep putting out free content to help bass players just like you understand music and improve their bass play. So please hit that red subscribe button, which is somewhere around this video. So the next odd time signature groove or song, what have you got for us? So the last thing that we're going to be looking at is Turn It On Again by Genesis. Why have you chosen this? Firstly, it's just a phenomenal song. <laughs> it's just brilliant. Secondly, because the time signature actually changes an awful lot throughout the song, but the bass line itself is reasonably straightforward, so it allows you to concentrate on the time signatures changing reasonably frequently. Are there any specific sections we're going to be looking at right now? So we'll be looking um, specifically at the verse. And amazingly enough, it only consists of one note because it was originally played on a Moog Taurus pedal. And how many time signatures does it have though? Well, in four bars, we have three different time signatures. We have four, then two, and then four, and then three. So you could see it as a four bars with three different time signatures. Mm -hmm. Or you could look at it as one long bar of... 13. Amazing. So you'll see there are multiple different ways you can start conceptualizing these time signatures. Can you slowly talk us through how the verse section works to turn it on? I can. So we'll be looking at the verse of Turn It On Again, which consists of one note. You'll be playing a B throughout the entire thing. So this is the second fret on your A string. So I'm going to talk you through the time signature changes. So we're going to go four, two, four, three. So you'll be playing quavers like so. So you'll go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And repeat. Let me play it with the track so you can hear what it sounds like. So Sean, that's a super interesting look at how time signatures work and also how you can find time signatures within time signatures as well. This is a crucial piece of understanding when you start going out of the realms of 4-4 four, four time. So thank you very much for sharing that. No problem at all. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, I've got another favor to ask. Head over to ebassguitar.com forward slash VIP. The reason being, Sean is one of our VIP coaches over at eBay's Guitar, and you have the opportunity to study with her. So please head over there, stick in an application form, and let's see if we can make it happen with Sean. Cheers! I've been James from eBay'sGuitar.com, and we will see you next time.